I'm from Brooklyn. Um, I grew up in a Caribbean household. My mom is Jamaican and my father is Shenanian. My parents and my sisters definitely played a wide genre of music. I have soca, reggae, R&B, trap, hip-hop. I've listened to all of those genres growing up and they definitely play a role in my music. Um, I knew that I loved to sing. Um, I watched a lot of Broadway shows, um, Cinderella, um, you know, the Rodgers and Hammerstein version with Brandy, Whitney Houston, <laughs> and I just knew I loved to sing. The first song that I wrote was Is It Love? I was in college and I was very depressed and the outlet that I needed to relieve myself of that depressive state was music. I didn't really know much about writing or finding beats, so I just went on YouTube, typed in Bob Marley beat, well that's what's familiar to me, and I wrote to that. It's actually still on SoundCloud. <laughs> A lot of my music is based on emotion and mood and experiences that I've gone through or people around me have gone through. And I kind of formulate characters in order to shape a storyline for my music. This project that I have coming up is really surrounded and based on love and life and the bittersweet aspects of it. I want to use this outlet to transform that pain into happiness and understanding. I would describe my sound as a mood. I, I, I can't really say that I'll categorize it into a specific genre, even though the basis of my music is R&B. I, um, I would consider myself an alternative R&B artist. However, the music is a mood. It, it's a feeling. <laughs> Will I still have green hair? We'll have to see in those 10 years about my green hair. but. Um, I will say that I do see myself touring, um, winning Grammys, doing award shows, festivals, you know, building my philanthropic arm. Yeah, just doing what I love and making sure that I'm reaching as many people as possible. If you haven't heard Sweet and Sour as of yet, it is out now. Definitely give it a listen, get in your feelings. And um, yeah, Sweet and Sour.